Hi, this is Patricia with the Crazy Cat Lady Crochet and Crafts Group. We're gonna just have a nice few minutes together. I'm still working on the back of this sweater for my granddaughter. How is everybody doing this morning? Just pulling up some string here. And where's everybody from? It's a beautiful day here where I'm at. I think it's going to be in the mid 70s today. Fall is upon us, thank goodness. Here where I'm at, it gets really hot in the summertime. What kind of projects is everybody working on today? Go ahead and, if you like, put it in the comment section. I'd like to know. And if you feel like it, take a picture and put it in the comment section. I love to see what people are doing. And maybe if I see something that you're doing, I might want to try it myself, if you don't mind. Oops. That one jumped right off the hook. Before all this COVID stuff started, a um, bunch of us ladies locally, we would meet in a church and some of us crocheted and knit, and, and I know one woman, she did some diamond painting. And we'd sit around for, I don't know, for about two hours, and we'd just talk about it. things in general, what was going on in our lives. It was just a nice, relaxing point in my time of the week that I knew I could, you know, just go with, meet with people and de-stress de for a couple hours and after the group meeting was over, we decided on a place to go and eat at and we'd continue our visit at a restaurant and then go on our way. It's just, I just really miss um, being involved in that group and when the weather's nice one of the ladies has been reserving a pavilion at her church and managed to make it to one of those meetings and just seems like it's just hard with different things going on too get out there, but I'm going to try and make it out there sooner or later, but this is why I created this group. If, if you don't have a crochet or crafty group near you, sometimes if you don't have anybody to do it with, it can be kind of, I wouldn't say lonely, but maybe you just like to be with somebody that's, you know, crafty and share a few minutes with them kind of keep each other encouraged and that's what I hope that I'm doing for you all it's just being an encouragement to whatever project you're working on just just hang in there with it if it's giving you a little bit of a hard time just Put it down, walk away, 
And then later on during the day or later on during the week, look at it with some fresh eyes and just just keep with it. Don't quit. And finish that project up. I know sometimes I get involved in a project and maybe a bit off more than I can chew. <laughs> I just want to throw my hands up and say, I can't do this. But I want to see it through to the end and it usually turns out pretty good anyways. Just maybe I've stayed at it too long and I, my hands and my eyes and just in general I get fatigued. And if you're like me, maybe you think you need to finish the, your whole project in one day when it should take a whole, when it should take a week or so to do because <laughs> I, I have just really wanted to get something done and spent all day on it and didn't get anything done around the house didn't, didn't get laundry done didn't get dinner cooked <laughs> just just was so focused on my project. Is there anybody else out there like that? So I've learned to set maybe timers or say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna crochet until this portion of the project is done. Like with this with this project, once I get this pink section to the six and a half inches that it needs to be, then I'm gonna stop for a little while and I'm gonna go visit with some family so it, it helps me to have a, a specific point in which to to stomp which is good for the mind and it's also good for your hands and your back and oh you hear my cat June bug give me Junie come here baby girl where you at? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yep. This is June. June is a rescue cat. Mm -hmm. She's cute. She's a tortoise shell. We got her from the local pet smart about a year or so ago. And she is just a joy to us. And all, all the other cats just love her, too. So this is June. June, say hi to everybody. Meow. She pushes on my hand so hard. She's so strong. Anybody else out there got pets that like to join them during their crochet project? I was kind of dreading trying to crochet with four cats in the house. I just couldn't imagine having balls of yarn and string and I just thought that they would really mess things up but I've had some good luck. I've got some good kitty cats. Maybe you're not a fan of cats. Maybe you have a dog that keeps you company or some other kind of pet. Maybe you could post a picture down in the comment section of your pet that keeps you company during, during this time, this crazy time. <laughs> yeah, June, you're sweet. You're sweet girl. Isn't she cute? <laughs> oh my, you just love you, aren't you? You're just in the lovey moon. Mm -hmm. See, she going in that bucket where that, I call that my practice yarn. 
I'm wanting to try out a new stitch. I've got a ball of yarn. I'll try it out. Make sure I know how to do the stitch before I do the project with the stitch. <laughs> back up, back up. <laughs> Well, it was great sharing this time with you. I hope you all have a great day. Remember, keep focused on your project and don't be a quitter. Just maybe walk away from it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.